everyone. Namaste. I'm Jill Loftus of New at Astrology and I'd like you to join me today for my third edition of crazy spiritual experiences that I have had. So um, the next one I want to tell you about actually involves my son. And uh, when I first got into yoga and um, signed up for teacher training, got heavily involved in the spiritual search, my son was still quite small. He was maybe three, four, five. And um, and he's a good Capricorn. He has always liked money. Well, one day I happened to um, I happened to get quite a bit of cash out of the bank. Like I had a couple hundred dollar bills in there. And of course he's three <laughs> or four. And so I guess he knows how much a hundred dollars is. But um, I noticed that hundred dollars is missing from my wallet. My wallet's sitting out. And so I go to him and I ask him where that money is. And he shows me that he has it. He's taking that money out of my wallet. And of course I was appalled. <laughs> like, uh, you know, I mean, I, uh, I think I probably overreacted a little bit, but I was just like, are you kidding me? You would steal something from me. Oh, we just made a, made a big deal about it. So fast forward a couple weeks goes by and we are at a little fair um, at his school. And um, the woman is handing him a couple tickets to play games and two tickets accidentally stick, stick together. And he goes, oh, and he tears the one off and hands it back to her. And she goes, oh, mama, you got to be so proud of this young man. He's so honest. And I'm sitting there thinking, yeah, he just stole a hundred bucks out of my wallet last week. Um, but it was really funny. It made an impression on him. She made it and she was like, did you see that? Did you see what an honest young man that is? What a good person. What a good person. I'm so proud. Yeah, good job, mom. Right. Big deal about it. Okay. Interesting. No kidding. Like the next day. We are at the swimming pool. We belong to a little swimming pool. I would take the children there and, and he loved to swim. Um, and I would sit there on my lounge chair, <laughs> taking one of those little foam balls and just throwing it to him, right? And he'd jump off the side of the pool and go running in there and get the ball and swim back and bring it back out and get out of the pool and bring it to me. We just do this like a dog, right? He just loves games. He loves to play just full of energy, right? This little tiny guy. Um, and all of a sudden I realized he, he comes back up and he's sucking his thumb and he, uh, he's like, I'm like, where's your ball? And he's like, I don't know. I, and I'm like, well, it was just there. I, I, you just had it. And I'm like, he's like, I don't know. So I'm like, well, go ahead and keep playing. Well, don't you know, I look over there and there's a teenage girl who's taken his ball and she is showing surreptitiously her friends that she's taken this ball. And so I see her and I watch and I think about what to do. And I decide that this is his karmic lesson, right? This is not my lesson. This is his lesson. And so I called him over and said, son, that young lady has your ball and I want you to go get it. And she was considerably at least, at least three times his age. And he went over there and asked for his ball and she never did give it to him. But after a little bit, he gets out of the pool and we're just sitting there. And I said, so how does it feel to have something taken from you? And he was like, not good. I said, okay. This is what happens when we take from other people, we get taken from. And when we don't, that won't happen. Very powerful lesson for him, but very powerful for me as the observer and as mom, right? It was just unbelievable. I couldn't, couldn't believe to watch the karma just dink, 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 right? Often we don't connect the lessons. And then one more quick story. Um, I went on my very first spiritual retreat, um, and it was with Goswami Kriyananda when he was still living. Um, and there was just this feeling of reverence and excitement. And he just was such a powerful, masterful teacher. And there were so many people there. And it was at a very, I mean, we, they used to hold the retreat centers at, at, at um, very Spartan uh, <laughs> uh, accommodations and places. This was not a fancy yoga retreat. Uh, this was out in, you know, outside of Chicago in this little, uh, like I said, very Spartan Christian retreat center. And I, um, I had a roommate because there were so few rooms available. I had a roommate that I'd never met before. And she seemed very lovely. She seemed very nice. And at the time I was in an intensive mantra practice. And only because I, fa I heard this song, it was by Jai Uttal. I loved it so much. And it's the Durga mantra. Hey ma Durga, hey ma Durga, hey ma Durga Rakshamam. Hey ma Durga, it's just that over and over. 
so beautiful. But it was, you know how songs get stuck in your head? <laughs> I was just, I, I, I heard that song. I heard it all the time. I didn't say anything to anybody about this, right? I did not know this person. I was very new to all of this. I felt like, you know, um, I felt like I was in, you know, I almost felt like an imposter, right? I was like, who am I to be here with all these people who've been doing this for so long? I'm just like a stay at home mom who's like dabbling in this, right? So the one day the roommate looks at me and we didn't spend a lot of time together. We were just kind of, you know, I mean, you're in intensive things. You finish at nine or nine thirty. you are up meditating by six, you know, there's not a lot of socialization during these events. And um, she looked at me and she said, what's the deal with you and Durga? And I was like, uh, what do you mean? And she said, every time I'm around you, I can hear the Durga mantra being chanted. I can just hear it when I'm around you. And I was stunned. I mean, I knew that I was repeating it and it was very much in my aura, but to think that someone outside of me, that it was so strong in my aura that someone could pick up on it, I found to be fascinating. And that's one of the many lessons that I have learned about the power of mantra, whether it's conscious or unconscious, um, those songs that get stuck in your head, those patterns that get stuck in your head, they're you know, very, very meaningful and very powerful in your life. All right. Well, I think that's a, that'll be it for this episode. I've got more. Don't worry. Um, again, please comment below. I would love to hear your crazy spiritual stories, your crazy experiences, these, these unbelievable, magical things that happen in our daily life. I'd love that you would share them with me and with our, uh, our group. All right. Have a wonderful day. Namaste. Bye.